it's white. What? The perfect pickup is a romantic comedy about four friends who fail miserably in their own way in the dating world. Randall. He's the Sam Jackson of Django. How does I work for the white man nigger? Dude, the hell? Look at him. Acting as if he owns me. Nobody owns me. They basically have had enough of this dating game and they decide to come up with the perfect way to pick up all women, uh, no matter what their styles or types are. Uh, they figure that there's, there's one way out there that uh, can dominate the dating world uh, across the whole playing field. Gentlemen, inside this bag are all the various styles of men that I could possibly Google. <laughs> Adam is, is the the guy who basically created the phrase, nice guys finish last. Um, what you wanna do is basically just uh, put your head down, okay? And uh, you're gonna keep it real firm, okay? Uh, the, the wrists, okay? And you, you wanna pay attention to the shaft and the balls, ball, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna try to get it into the hole as fast as possible, out to the pin. You wanna, you wanna shoot and get less strokes, uh, shots into the, the hole. Um, I'm gonna stop talking, you can shoot whenever. <clears throat> Balance. Cody Johnson is the character I play and uh, he comes across as um, what some might say is a jerk or a dick. Dude, you don't get it. This, this girl's vagina was like a, a bearded ax wound. Romantic. I just think he's that guy that's looking for love in all the wrong places and he's overcompensating for his insecurities. There are so many types of guys out there that women want, and it's just not us. And especially not you, Greg. Uh, Greg and, wow. Well, he's a character, to be sure. Uh, he's uh, a guy that overcompensates for everything. Okay. He, uh, you know, um, he goes big or goes home, pretty much. And uh, except when it comes to uh, physical violence, then he's, uh, he uh, retreat, retreats into his shell. It's my dad's name. Hey, I think it's a great shut up. Okay. From the very beginning, you know, you see Randall um, just getting shut down. You see him getting denied at every every turn, and you can you can see that it's it 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 breaks his heart regularly to be so denied by women. I'm thinking two things, and I know you're thinking them too. Your dick. My vagina. You know, he's the one that gets yelled at. Don't you dare count that, Randall. I will come there and punch your mouth loose. Count it. He's the one that has to get them in the club and pays for everything. And you see that it, you see his oppression from the beginning. Doesn't it bug you? Knowing that they had no interest in anything but my credit card? He really would love to be accepted by these guys and for the first time, you know, get a girl. Holy shit. Who is that? I don't know. Must be one of the new hires Randall was talking about. Dude, I don't care if she's a married lesbian with pubic lice. I'm gonna be in her. Stacy is the good girl or the girl next door. Um, she's the love interest in the movie. I you do <laughs> fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Wait a minute. What, what are you two doing here? You two want a date? Stacy? I thought you and I had a thing. A thing? We went for coffee. Really? But I thought you went to her house and she fed you shrimp. What? I don't even know who you are anymore. She's also a little bit more conservative than some of the characters. She kind of sets the tone for what is normal, which is funny to see a normal character amongst a slew of absolutely crazy ones. Look, I don't know what happened yesterday, okay? But whatever Corey told you... Was true! No, it, it wasn't, okay? You can't listen to anything he tells you. Oh, like what, Adam? Huh? Like the fact that you're not into weird pornographic material, but have stacks of animal porn magazines. Or that you never bring women over to yours, but have more lingerie at your place than a whorehouse. Let me guess. You're going to tell me that Corey doesn't donate his time at children's hospitals. Or that he doesn't plant trees on the weekend. 
Is that right? I can't believe that you're falling for this. I don't want to hear it, Adam. If that's even your real name. There's a lot of movies that have some funny scenes and, you know, they're great movies, but I think this is just going to be a phenomenal movie because I think it's going to be funny all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You're laughing literally through the entire movie. It's just, it's, it's hilarious. Like, the script was so good, and I, I just thought, I have to see this on screen. I have to see Chad and Nathan's vision of how this comes together because the script was hilarious. Oh, have you seen this? Yeah, you and I can work out a deal, huh? What the fuck is the Boulder guy shit? Aye. It's, ah. I like it. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I see what I mean. It's creepy the way he stares at you, isn't it? Quick! Grab my dick! Corey, is this your desk? What the fuck is wrong with you? God! Some suppressing fire.